I'm Tom Selway and this is Sense Media. I'm joined now by Beat Dukoy of Espros Photonics. Thank you very much for joining me today. How are you doing? Hi Tom, I'm doing very good, thank you. Excellent, excellent. So tell me a little bit about Espros, what you do and how long you've been going on. Tell me all about it. We are a, a manufacturer of uh, imager chips. Uh, our specialty is uh, 3D imaging. So, which are used for uh, driver assistance systems, uh, LiDAR applications, also in cabin for I guess, control, uh, left behind objects, uh, which is a very hot topic uh, coming up. And uh, we have developed uh, this uh, CMOS technology from the greenfield starting 2006. And uh, with these uh, tough images, we are on the market since uh, about three years. So, uh, as a layman, not knowing much about this technology, how is this technology employed? What, what is it used for? Uh, when you want to navigate uh, mobile robotics, robot taxi, or also driver assistance system, you need three-dimensional three information uh, of your environment. And these cameras, they provide uh, three-dimensional information uh, with uh, active illumination, so not stereoscopic uh, application like we do that uh, the human with the, with the two eyes, we do that with the uh, illumination measure like a sonar, the time of flight of uh, photons from our camera to the object and back uh, to the camera. So how long has, has EPC been around? How, how long have you been working on this technology? Yeah, since 12 years. 12 years. We, st we started uh, with the aim to uh, develop such a technology, yes, and uh, yeah, it's great, we're doing great. So, Bayer, what is it you're exactly showcasing to the uh, consumers and other businessmen here at AutoSense this week? Yeah, what we show is uh, our 3D time of flight camera technology. I have uh, two samples here. This one is for a 300 meter LiDAR imager, and this one is for uh, face uh, recognition uh, to identify the driver uh, so that you can uh, enter your car and start your car without any key. Wow. That's quite advanced. That's extremely advanced. Uh, yeah, this is uh, what we what we like to do. We, of course, uh, we really push limits with our uh, semiconductor technology, and uh, uh, these are the the outcome of uh, of that technology. We can we are happy that we can show that today. Are there many other similar technologies like this out on the market today by other other businesses? Uh, well, uh, exactly comparable. No, there are, of course there are some competitors, but uh, it's less than a handful. And uh, regarding uh, the LiDAR product here, uh, all of our competitors are working with a different technology, which typically uh, is very good uh, in uh, nighttime, mm -hmm. but not uh, when there is a lot of uh, light during the daytime. And uh, this is uh, independent of the, of the illumination. So tell me a bit more about the company's history then. How was it formed and, and how did it develop into what it's become today? Well, the background goes uh, or is uh, laid uh, has been laid in the in the 90s, where we started to develop uh, in, a, in a different company this uh, base technology, and uh, because we could not find anybody who uh, manufactured uh, this uh, CMOS technology, which is really needed to uh, do uh, high performance high performance uh, 3D time of flight images, <coughs> we said okay. If we don't find somebody, so we do that uh, by ourselves. And uh, that was the, the foundation of, uh, of uh, Espros, and uh, we started to develop uh, uh, that technology. There's a lot of, lot of uh, research and development behind. Uh, in total, uh, we can uh, uh, calculate, I would say, about 500 man years. Technology development we, we did, uh, we spent a lot of money also uh, doing that. I can imagine, absolutely. So, so what are your hopes for the future then for the company? Where do you see it going over the next couple of years, five years, say? Uh, I'm sure that uh, these markets are uh, really booming, really booming. I, I mean, uh, you, you can feel that uh, every day it's uh, kind of a gold rush and this uh, three-dimensional sensing, not just uh, in the uh, in automotive industry, but also mobile robotics or uh, consumer product like uh, handheld, also in industry, medicine, medical uh, devices. And uh, I'm sure uh, because of our leading technology that uh, we play an important uh, role in the market. Many thanks for your time. All the best for the future. Thanks very much. Uh, make sure you like and subscribe for more from Autosense.